Hello again, Awesomers. It's your buddy, Steve Simonson. And I just want to say hello to you today uh, on the Awesomers 239th episode. That's awesomers.com slash 239 to see today's show notes details, any links we may happen to put in there. Uh, and this is a um, quick episode, I should say, because we're trying to do a lot of things at one time. So I'm traveling around. I was just in Austin, which I mentioned on the last podcast. Uh, tomorrow I leave for London. Uh, and then not long after that, uh, to New York and Miami, and on the treadmill goes. Now, it's fun. I'm, I'm privileged and lucky to do it, uh, but it takes a little bit of coordination. So today, I want to give you uh, anybody who's going to be in the Miami area around October 16th, I'm going to be at the Wizards of Ecom event put on by Carlos Alvarez down there, and such a great group of people. I had the chance to go there I don't know, three or four weeks ago. And they're just, they're really smart and they're put together and they're doing Amazon uh, seller meetups and e-commerce meetups uh, regularly. So Wizards of Ecom, if you are going to be down near Miami on October 16th, we've got a really special treat for you. So you may have heard in the past where I've talked about strengths-based leadership and why I think strengths is a really important foundation for you to get your own mind right and then to learn how to manage other people. And we're bringing down a Gallup certified strengths coach to Miami to help um, kind of professionally train and, and give access to the Gallup organizations inside the tales and inside um, kind of information. So Gallup is the organization that developed and, and studied the strengths based process over the last couple of decades with tens of millions of kind of assessments and tests and and they've really established the patterns and I'll let you go do your own research on the Gallup organization very very well respected in terms of data science and understanding patterns and 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 so forth and behaviors that result from those patterns so Gallup has this program where they say hey listen strengths-based training and strengths-based leadership is so important we're going to we're going to charge all of these uh, coaches a ton of money and then they can go out and get trained and then learn and then go on and, and spread the gospel as it were. And we're lucky because we're bringing Michael Pankowski, uh, again, Gallup certified strengths coach down with us. And he's going to do two sessions on strengths, kind of first get to know yourself and then get to know your team. This, uh, this type of training, you know, if you uh, were a, a company, you know, like AT&T or Microsoft or whoever and you call Michael, you know, he would charge ten to twenty thousand dollars for this type of session, uh, and it often would be something that he would be overbooked. And there are many strengths coaches you can go and you can check their rates, and they range from, you know, three to fifty thousand per day for strengths training. But you guys get to have it at, at the Wizards of Ecom without any cost, as far as I know. Uh, maybe you have to be a member there. I'm not sure exactly how it works. But Carlos has that wonderful little. Um, I don't know, kind of like location, retail location, where it's set up for training and there's going to be online stuff. It's kind of a neat thing. I, and he's looking to, to branch that Wizards of Ecom farther in terms of more locations and other ideas, uh, including the online seller crews, which I'll, I'll probably try to mention here in just a minute. So anyway, so Michael's coming down. I'm also coming down. We're also going to show a inside peek on seobox.co. So SEO box is something, or it's not SEO. Look at, I don't even know the name of our own product. SOPbox.co, SOPbox.co. Uh, so SOPs are standard operating procedures. That should help me with the acronym, you would think. And I think a lot of people, first of all, they think they don't need SOPs or they think they're too hard to write, or if they do write them, they forget where they're located and they become out of date almost instantly because nobody ever used them. So the, the concept of it and the execution of it are kind of galaxies away. They're, they're not nearly being done well. And so uh, anybody who's out there, go to sopbox.co, <laughs> not com, .co, and you can uh, take a look at some of the information, including a demo there where you can actually log into a live SOP uh, demo box and, and take a look at it for the solo version of SOP box. For those who have the full enterprise level of parsimony, it's built into it with all the accounting and HR and, you know, uh, inventory management, all that stuff. 
but you can get now SOP Box as a solo program. And it's really built for enterprises that you know have multiple people across the globe and it has unlimited users, unlimited users. And by the way, as a special little surprise, we're going to offer some, some uh, nice discounts for those, the, the first hundred people who sign up, whether it's at the Wizard of Ecom uh, event uh, in uh, Miami, I guess it is, or um, in subsequent events, we're going to try to make sure that the first hundred users get a screaming deal. Uh, so if you want that screaming deal, by the way, just email uh, service at, oh, let's see, who, who should you email? Let's see. Actually, just DM me if you find me on Instagram or Facebook, and I'll make sure I find the coupon for you. Uh, I don't actually know what it is. But I'm sure I know somebody who knows what it is. That's the that's the point of delegation. Uh, all right, so we're going to be going down there. We're going to be talking Strengths Finder, two sessions. We're going to be talking about SOP Box, and then I'm going to give, um, I, I would say, one of the most important talks about the changes in the global supply chain that are coming. I have talked about this in Texas. I'm going to talk about it again in Miami with the updates that take into consideration some of the absolute chaos that is happening in the world right now. We're talking about the fuel shortages in China. Why do, why do those exist? How we saw those coming? What does it mean for the impact of production and manufacturing? And then what about the downline supply chain issues, right? In every country, there's some supply chain weirdness going on. The United States is back to hoarding toilet paper for whatever reason and bottled water. And the UK, they got plenty of fuel on the ground. They don't have drivers to distribute it. So now they're jammed up in their supply chain and it's hard for them to find petrol or gasoline, depending on where you're from. And I could go country by country and give you a number of examples of these different supply chain constriction, points of constriction. But the honest truth is uh, I can't give it all to you here on the podcast because it's uh, kind of in-depth and super proprietary. Uh, but I will do it kind of in these small slugs of information where it's, it's 30 to 60 minutes uh, in a still condensed format. Honestly, the, the information would take, you know, well over a day to kind of fully explain cause, effect, 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 and prediction. But I can give you at least a taste so you can see where the wind is blowing. And that's part of the point. Where is the wind blowing? So, uh, you know, if, if you're concerned about the the financial situation and the debt situation and the fuel situation in China, I think you're right to be very judicious with your dealings with the uh, Chinese suppliers, making sure that you have goods inspected before you're paying money, make sure that you have uh, the ability to ship those goods before, you know, uh, kind of counting on the, those uh, goods to sell and so on and so forth. So lots of things happening there. So that's October 16th in Miami, Wizards of Ecom. I want you guys, if you haven't already, you know, booked your, your uh, ticket with them, just go find the Wizards of Ecom October 16th event and make sure you see us there. I don't know the capacity of the place, but I, I reckon we'll probably, um, we'll probably pack in some people there. And it's going to be really fun. It's going to be, you know, kind of an unprecedented opportunity for you to get access to really some high level stuff. Uh, Michael Bukowski in his own right is very accomplished. You know, he helped me grow one of my first companies, zero to $50 million. And then he went on to one of my buddies and helped him grow from 50 to past a hundred million dollars. He gets e-commerce, he gets team building and he understands strengths. Uh, and this is why he leads the parsimony.com organization, uh, which is dedicated to systemic thinking and having the team produce more results than it can on its own, right? So that the principle of systems is to be able to get you leverage so that one person with the aid of a system can do the work of two people, five people, 10 people, 100 people, whatever the case may be. Uh, it, it varies based on the functions and, and so forth where some automation is really a great idea and other automation is a terrible idea. Anybody who thinks they can automate forecasting and never look at it again, well, frankly, you're just wrong. You don't know what you're doing. Uh, I know many buyers, many merchandisers in large organizations that with much longer histories and much slower growth, and they still make mistakes. 
Uh, and it's not for lack of capacity. It's not for lack of AI or the budgets to, to buy the best software. It's just because there are variables you can't control. When somebody like Nike says, we're not going to have enough shoes to sell this, this uh, Christmas season, this Q4, that's a pretty good indicator that you got a problem. When Costco warns, we're not going to have enough products for Q4, it's very easy to see that this is more complex. And I'll give you that right now is more unprecedented than normal in terms of the tumultuousness of the, the global supply chain and the shipping and this and that. But it's there's always something. I, I should, I'll put it like that. You know, in the past, we've had uh, strikes, you know, whether they were port strikes or uh, UPS strikes or whatever. There's, there's always some little wrinkle that has to be ironed out. And that's, that's why we uh, get paid, right? We solve problems as entrepreneurs. That's where we add value. So uh, if you're going to be in Miami or even near Miami or are ready to fly to Miami, go there for October 16th. Michael Pinkowski and I, we're going to be putting on, you know, whatever it is, four, five, six hours of uh, mind-blowing content. And as far as I know, there's no cost for it. Uh, or at least it's a very low cost. You can talk to the Wizards of Ecom uh, about that. They're very uh, good guys, and it's also quite affordable. And it actually led me to um, talk to Carlos last time I was there, and we were talking about the online seller cruise, and uh, he asked me, and I've agreed to speak on that online seller cruise, which is coming up in 2022. I believe it's early February 2022. So it's a seven-day cruise, uh, talk to talk about a captured audience, right? Uh, you'll be on there. I'll be on there. Uh, hundreds of sellers are going to be on this online seller cruise, and I highly recommend that you, you know, give it give it your best go to uh, come and join us. There's already, as I say, hundreds registered, and you know the the government keeps throwing these new restrictions out. Who knows if we'll you know all have to wear gas masks the entire time we're on there, but. Uh, I'm optimistic that we'll we'll get to a point where we can travel and do things. This is why I'm I'm still trying to go places. Like tomorrow, I'm going to London, and then I <laughs> I'm trying to go to India too, which I mentioned on the last podcast. Uh, those flights got canceled, so now I got to rebook my India flights. So all of these things uh, they just add a level of complexity, right? So we could just get mad and go, "Well, I'm taking my ball and going home," or we can choose to solve problems. Uh, Complex problems, sometimes seemingly impossible problems. In my humble opinion, that's what we're in the business to do. We solve problems. If you already solve problems, then you should come and join us at one or more of these events. So uh, I believe it is October 9th. I will be in London at Seller Sessions for Danny McMillan's event. Uh, I'm looking forward to you know some great content, great conversations. I, have, as you may know, I love entrepreneurs. So I'll be at the VIP dinner. Uh, I believe it's on the 8th. And then the event is on the 9th. And I just look forward to seeing all of my British uh, friends and colleagues and uh, perhaps distant relatives. I got my, uh, got my DNA stuff back and uh, I'm a good bit British. So uh, anyway, I'm just really looking forward to seeing a bunch of people I haven't seen in a long time. And Danny puts on really great event. And this thing has been kind of kicked down the road a number of times as so many events have. And so I'm looking forward to it coming off and, and getting done and everybody getting, uh, you know, high value and, and good excitement from it. So, so come and see me October 9th in London. If you haven't uh, booked your ticket, come and see me October 16th in Miami. If you haven't uh, had a chance yet. And then uh, I'll be again in, in New York and in India and some other places uh, back and forth to Mexico California. And I'll try to publicize these on uh, the website well, as I can, but sometimes I just simply don't have time. And that don't forget about the online seller crew. So that's just some of the stuff that's happening. Uh, and lots of exciting things happening. We've got some, some changes at Empowery that are going to benefit members and, and uh, really uh, benefit Melissa, who's uh, been our, our GM and uh, on our board of directors for so many years. Those announcements will be coming up soon. But uh, just so many exciting things. So do me a favor, um, go leave a review of this podcast so that at least it gets a little more awareness, a little more visibility. Uh, share it with your friends, put it on, you know, share it on Twitter or Facebook or the TikToks or the Grams or whatever. I don't know what people share things on, but 
you know, if, if you do find some value in here, the, the thing you can do is uh, leave a review and share it as well. Uh, the sun is now starting to shine in and messing up my green screen. So I'm going to have to jump out of here. But I want to thank you again, everybody. Awesomers.com slash 239. We're going to wrap it for now, but I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.